So it's with the heavy heart guys that, you know, with everything going on and the, you know, the state of everything in terms of myself as an artist and in production and all that, um, I think this will be my farewell and goodbye and my last video and my last bit of content as the Saturn return. Um, it has been a really cool ride, guys. I appreciate everyone who's been here. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Happy April 1st, everybody. Today's video is in a little bit of a different location. We're currently obviously not in my studio environment. We're actually in one of my two favorite rooms in any given house, second to only the bathroom, and that's the kitchen. So I wanted to share with you guys an aspect of production that has made things so much easier for me and all of the progress I have made in the past few months, especially looking at videos I've made before over a year ago now versus to where I'm at today and has made things so much easier and so much more doable for me and has really made a huge stride in how I make these videos and how I go about making almost any content in general, um, both behind and in front of a camera. The simple strengthening of this aspect has made things so much easier for me and that is as simple as pre-production. So I have been recently ingrained with this understanding that I've seen from other cinematographers, from other YouTubers, from other content creators, other um, professionals much more, you know, established in their industry with the simple phrase that, you know, the movie happens in pre-production, right? And that really, I feel like, applies to almost every aspect of anything you do in creation and in many aspects of your personal life, honestly. So what I mean by that is that the more you plan for everything before you press the record button, the smoother everything will go. And it will make everything much, much, much easier in your process. So I used to just, you know, start as simple as having an idea for something, getting some kind of like setup, you know, vaguely all organized and then hitting the record button. And I would constantly come across so many problems like that. For one, I am not a natural in front of a camera. No matter what I seem like today and how things are going now, I am naturally an anxious mess once you put me in front of a lens. I love doing all sorts of cool stuff behind the camera, but once you put me in front of one, I am just this like anxious a sweaty person who forgets every single thing that they really had to say and half of the content they make and that is so frustrating I can tell you right now that the big difference between what I'm doing today and what I used to do let's say in some old 2019 or 2018 video hey everyone Calvin here of the Saturn return figured now is as good a time as any to start getting video content rolling is the pre-production planning. There are so many aspects of pre-production that really make this so much easier and so much more approachable that really, really strengthen how I go about making content and it's so helpful. And I would love to share that with some of you guys. The reason why we're in a kitchen is because I'm actually shooting a couple scenes in the living room of this house. I actually am gonna be bringing you along for different aspects of that pre-production before I ever hit the record button so you guys can see some of that process and how that has made things so much easier for me. I was thinking about doing this video in like some behind the scenes like vlog and it was gonna be this long thing. But one, waiting till the product was done to make the behind the scenes would take a while and I didn't wanna wait weeks to make this content. And two, it makes it easier to be able to break each aspect of the things I've learned down so I can go into more detail about each of these aspects so I can share that with you guys in a much more digestible fashion rather than you searching through this 25 minute video that took two months after the fact to make. You guys are gonna be coming along with me and I'm so excited for that because that is one part of my production that I've really wanted to do and I always was like waiting on maybe hiring a behind the scenes guy or always having a second person around with another camera. Oh, we need two cameras to do this. Using all these excuses, especially the gear induced excuses was not acceptable to me and at any point in time, I should have been able to make these videos. So now you guys are coming with me for some of this stuff and I am so excited about that. With that in mind, laugh for others as not everyone can be in that position and share that laughter. Give me some of your April Fool's pranks 
Kitty! You better not be trying to prank me, Wendell. I'm onto you. Give me some of your best April Fool's pranks that you've been pulling off with your friends, family, and loved ones for the first. If you do like these kinds of videos, there's a good chance you'll also like the other videos on my channel. For those of you who are new here, make content for filmmaking, photography, and music. I hope you guys are all on board for this ride because it's going to be quite a doozy of one. Even if you don't like this content, you... Come on. Like, we know who the real star of this channel is, right? I'll see you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe if you're into this kind of stuff. Like and subscribe even if you're not because it helps me out a lot. So until the next video, guys, peace. Whoa. Oh, kitty. You're such a mess.